And if you, if you want to prove this, go and ask your best friend or someone else, a member of the public, to look at their feed. Uh, I had really, uh, I remember probably two years ago, I asked my best friend if I could just look at his Twitter feed. And it was completely different from mine. Yes. For one, there was no Manchester United and it was all Liverpool. But then all of the information was completely different as well. And so we're living in these echo chambers where misinformation or you know, things we believe is being reinforced positively or negatively. So you need a strategy for information, especially as it relates to health. I couldn't agree more. The fact of the matter is these algorithms are designed to keep you engaged. They are not designed to keep you informed. Mm. It's just that simple. Um, the other problem, of course, is confirmation bias. If you have confirmation bias, you will only seek out the information that reconfirms your bias. And that's what's about and to happen. That's, the... that's what we didn't used to have, but that's what we have now. That's what's about to play out in the comment section whenever we talk about subjects like, like vaccines is um, there'll be a group of people who have their own opinions on it, and you're entitled to your own opinion, and they will go at war to con confirm and prove that opinion. And there'll be another group of people that have a different opinion, and they'll go at war to confirm that opinion. What I, what I love, and hopefully what I think my audience understand me for, is I try and, I try and remain open-minded. And that's like a really fucking hard thing to do it's these days. It's hard to do. Yeah. I saw a journalist the other day, they said, they were trying to place me politically, and they said, we think Stephen is apolitical. And I think that's probably an apt description of my opinions, because I have- I would consider that a high compliment. It's an amazing compliment. I have views, but I don't sign up to any particular, like, cult, is the way I'd describe it. 